Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault and once again I'm coming to you with another product review and unboxing and today we're taking a look at another holster from a company I have never heard of before. This is the Mastac Kydex holster for the Glock 19. Now they offered me a number of different holsters for different guns and I said well send me the one for the Glock 19 because it's probably the most popular handgun in the United States and I have a couple of different variations of the 19 that I would like to try in this. So I said sure send it over I'm always looking for cool holsters to recommend to people that are just getting into carrying guns or who knows maybe this thing is an awesome high quality holster at an affordable price that's durable well built we're just gonna have to see so let me go ahead and adjust the camera we're gonna open this Mastac Glock 19 inside the waistband Kydex holster for the Glock 19 see what it's all about we'll try out a few different guns on it I'll put it on you guys get to see my tactical dad bod see how well it carries and what I think about it so here's the packaging that this Mastac holster comes in it says protect yourself no matter where you are you have some contact information it says it has a lifetime warranty this is the inside the waistband holster in the back here it says this is for the Glock 23, 32, and 19 generations 3 and 4. So I have both of those out here plus a Lone Wolf distributor's frame and a Glock 26 because I'm curious if this can also be used to holster smaller firearms of the Glock family. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what this is all about. All right, so maybe it opens differently. Oh, I was a knucklehead there. I just should have opened it that way. I thought you ripped off the top. All right, so there's the holster. And here is the instruction manual, which is in its own bag. Let's see what this is all about. We get a little card. And it just says easy installation. So this is about all of the adjustments and I'll check that out in a minute. But before we do, let's take a look at this holster. And I gotta say, it seems to be well built, well constructed, like all the Kydex holsters that I have seen before. It has a nice texture to it. Many of the other holsters that I get in for review, like this Warrior Land one, sometimes comes with this carbon fiber look, which I do like. But this is more of your typical Kydex looking material. I don't see any defects in the construction. Everything seems to be well made. Something I am noticing that I do like is that we do have two points of contact here when it comes to the adjustment and the tightness of the holster where many holsters only have one so I think that might give it a little bit more durability we have an adjustment here I'll have to read about that but so far everything looks good I do like the fact it has this little pad in the back many of the holsters that I do wear and carry many times the side of the gun can kind of dig into my stomach a little bit so I like to have that little flap there on the back of the holsters. So this has that, so I think I'm going to like it. All right, so I brought out four different guns for us to take a look at here. We'll first start off with a Glock 19 Gen 3. And by the way, all these guns have already been safety checked before I made the video, so I don't have to do that right now. So here is the Gen 3 Glock 19. Snaps in there pretty good, and before any adjustments, it's in there pretty tight. I don't see any problems with the retention. All right, snaps in there good and comes out with no problem. All right, so now let's try my wife's Gen 4. Now, how in the world would you ever be able to tell this is my wife's Glock 19? I have no idea. All right, well that snaps in there even better. All right, the Gen 4 doesn't have any problems. Retention is good, snaps in there. It's not loose in the holster. It's definitely in there just a little bit tighter. I do like that. All right, so even though it's not designed for it, let's say maybe you have a Lone Wolf Distributors type Glock clone pistol that's the same size as a 19. Let's see if this fits. And I'm also curious because this has suppressor height sights. So let's see here. And yes, it does fit, but the retention is not as good. It does hold in there though, but I'm sure we can tighten up those screws if you had a frame like this. So now let's try the Glock 26 as well. So a smaller framed pistol. Normally this will still work and it does. 
and it does retain as well. However, you do have a big gap here in the front. So it definitely fits the Glock 19 a little bit better, and it does say it is cut for an optic. Now, I don't have a Gen 3 or Gen 4 that is cut for an optic, but if you did, you can see you have all the room right here for your optics, and it would not interfere with the holster at all. So right now, I'm liking the build of this. I'm liking the function. It seems to be durable. Let me go ahead and read the instructions. Let me get this thing adjusted for my body, and let's see how it carries. All right, so here is your favorite part of every holster review. You guys get to see a close-up of the Texas Gun Vault Tactical Dad Bod. And here we are with the Mastec holster for the Glock 19. Now, this thing has an interesting feature. It has a little claw on it, and it seems that it kind of squares off the way that it sits on my side. And yes, I do carry at the 3 o'clock position. I have to say, the holster is pretty comfortable, but I don't think I like this claw. It kind of makes the firearm and the holster stick out just a little bit. So I may take that off. Now I do want to say I tried this review and before I filmed with my core essentials belt. This clip isn't the biggest and I couldn't get it around the core essentials belt and with this claw because it squares it off the belt was too rigid. So here I'm just using a standard belt. This is not a gun belt but it's holding up pretty good. So I have to say this clip is kind of small and if you have a thicker belt you might have some issues with it but it is really secure because of that so that is with that little claw it's kind of interesting it does make getting the firearm out of the holster a lot easier but i'm going to take that claw off because it is adjustable and i want to see how it looks and how it feels without it and this is how it looks without that claw. It doesn't stick out as much. I find this to be even more comfortable. The little claw looks like this, and I guess that helps you retain the holster a little bit more. And maybe for some people, that's going to be a little bit more comfortable for the shape of your body. But for me, and the roundness that we have here, this is actually a lot more comfortable, so I would probably carry it this way. I do like the fact, once again, the holster has that flap on the back. It is preventing the gun from digging into my side. It's very comfortable. It's easy to get to the gun. I think it conceals really well. So overall, I'm happy with it. It definitely works. There's no issues with it. Yeah, it feels very comfortable from my body shape. So. I like this. So let me go ahead and adjust the camera and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so what are my final thoughts on the Mastec G19 or Glock 19 Kydex holster? Well, it's good. It works. It does what it says it's going to do. It's comfortable for me. The only thing I didn't like was this little claw, which is adjustable. You can take it off if you don't like it, so it does give you a lot of different options. I just prefer it without. It's more comfortable that way. But you guys can add it, and of course, this all depends on your body type and shape and how you prefer to carry. Now, when it comes to the retention of this, being an inside the waistband holster, you don't need a lot of retention because hopefully your gun will be concealed underneath the shirt, but just the way that it is fit without even me having to adjust the screws, which of course you can, it fits great. It has just the right amount of tension that I like. It's holding the gun in there. It's not going to fall out. It's not loose. I think it looks very attractive. It covers the entire trigger guard. Yeah, it works. It looks good. I know you have plenty of room here at the top for an optic. I'm very happy with this. So this is just a product that does exactly what it says it's going to do. It's high quality. I have no complaints. So on my star system, how would I rate the Mastec Glock 19 inside the waistband holster? Well, I would give it four and a half stars out of five. As I said, it does everything that it's supposed to do. Just not a big fan of this little claw system, but you might. And these star ratings are based off of how they work for me. But no problems whatsoever. It works. It looks good. 
I'm glad that they sent it to me for review. So if you're interested in a holster like this, I'm gonna put their information in the description below, as well as a pinned comment. And in full disclosure, they sent this to me for free for this review. So you can decide, does that affect my bias and the outcome of the review? I hope you guys think that I'm honest and I always tell you guys if I have any problems. So there you go. My review and unboxing of the Maztec Glock 19 Kydex holster. Yeah, nice quality, it's attractive, and it works. So let me know what you think, and do you guys like Kydex holsters like this for inside the waistband carry? So, as always, thanks for watching.